number seven, Lewis Morgan, was going to take it. Morgan from the penalty spot. Morgan! It's, it's one nothing for Inter Miami. 57th minute. What's up, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Miami Total Football. It's a historic night at Inter Miami CF Stadium. Inter Miami got its second consecutive win, back to back wins for the first time this season, for the first time in its brief history. It was a 1 0 win over the Houston Dynamo in a match that was delayed by, because of weather and lightning by 47 minutes at the 30 minute mark in the first half. Now the game winning goal comes courtesy of Lewis Morgan who has a team high five goals on the year now. He scored on a penalty kick in the 57th minute after Leandro Gonzalez Pires was brought down in the box. And for Inter Miami it was probably a deserved result, a deserved victory and a deserved three points. The team played better from the run of play for much of the match, created more dangerous looks but Marco Marich, the Houston Dynamo goalkeeper, was up to the task and a big reason why the Dynamo were in the match even up until late in the second half. Now, while Morgan scored the game winner on the night, for me, it was the defense that paved the way for the victory. Diego Alonso went back to that five-man backline or that three-man backline, depending on how you want to look at it. But the three center backs were there with the two wing backs that were running up and down the field depending on the situation and that back line helped Inter Miami close things up defensively again the Houston Dynamo are not a very good team they're towards the bottom of the standings in the Western Conference but it allowed Inter Miami to close down and limit space in behind and avoid giving up the type of goals that have cost them in recent weeks remember Inter Miami had come off a stretch in which they were leaking goals at the back there were a lot of turnovers individual turnovers some and quite a few of them from Ben Sweat, who did not start in this game. Breck Shea got the nod as the left wing back in this one. But Inter Miami, again, was able to hold things tight defensively, and it was a step in the right direction in regards to that as they recorded their first clean sheet in eight. Yes, you heard me correctly, eight matches. Now, a big part of that was Leandro Gonzalez Pires, who also drew the foul that led to Lewis Morgan's decisive penalty kick. But Leandro Gonzalez Pires was a monster at the back in his return to the lineup after serving a one-game suspension because of yellow card accumulation. But overall, the group looked good at the back. John McCarthy in goal also looked well and showed some interesting and different things than we've seen when Luis Robles has been in the net. But after the match, head coach Diego Alonso wouldn't commit to sticking with that five-man back line. Obviously, you have to remember Luis uh, Andres Reyes is out right now with an injury, but is expected to return in the next two weeks. So Diego Alonso wouldn't commit to sticking with the five-man backline, even though it's shown progress. I, I assume he's anticipating the return of Andres Reyes and probably going back to a four-man backline when he does. But he said it was a positive to have two different looks and have two different uh, two different schemes that they trust. Um, puede seguir haciendo una posibilidad de seguir haciendo en el futuro o, o ir modificando, pero lo bueno es que sabemos que Podemos hacerlo de dos maneras diferentes, detrás, que nos da seguridad. Now, obviously, for the team as a whole, this victory was a big one. And you can see that after the match, the team took to their social, or the players took to their social media accounts, their Instagram accounts, and posted pictures of the entire team after the match, smiling and happy and posting as a group. And I think that's the first time this season that they've done that after a match, that you've seen them post a full team photo. And several players did it. It was plays Matuidi, Leandro Gonzalez Pires. I think the caption for, for one of them, I think it was Leandro Gonzalez Pires that said in Spanish, closer than ever before. So clearly the team is emotionally on a high. They know they got that monkey off their back. They've been able to win consecutive games for the first time this season. And that's something that's gonna give them momentum and serve as a big plus as they go into the stretch run. Because again, they are now just one point out of a playoff spot in the Eastern Conference and they have plenty of matches to make up that ground. Now there was another piece of news that came out from Inter Miami on Saturday. It happened right before the game. The team announced that it had officially traded for Federico Higuain. Yes, the other Higuain, Gonzalo's brother. Federico Higuain is now a member of Inter Miami. Inter 
Miami sent back $50,000 in general allocation money to acquire the attacking midfielder. And if you ask me, this is a big move for Inter Miami, a great move for the team. Obviously, the sole reason or the biggest reason that it was done was because of the family ties and Federico requesting to want to be closer to his brother and play in the same team and be, live in the same city as his as his brother. So that's the big reason the why this move was made. But if we're talking tactically and how Federico Higuain fits into the mold of the team and the group, I think it's a huge addition because he is a true number 10. Yes, he's later in his career now. He doesn't have maybe the energy or the minutes that he could give you a few years ago, but he has vision and he has that that through ball that no one on Inter Miami really has right now. That no one they can really break through lines like that with a creative pass or break through a back line with that creative through ball. So this is a big move for Inter Miami because they've lacked the true number 10. Yes, Rodolfo Pizarro has played in that spot and he wears the number 10, but he's not a traditional number 10. Even with his style of play, he's not that guy that can break through lines and has the vision to open or split open defenses with a, a good pass. He's more of a guy that likes to get on the ball, combine, and play through that way. So this will be a big move for Inter Miami. You can expect Federico Higuain to serve predominantly off the bench, but don't be surprised if he gets to start here and there as crunch time approaches. That does it for now. Make sure you stay tuned in to Miami Total Football for more news and analysis of Inter Miami as they try to make this playoff push, this final playoff push. And please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm Franco Panizo, and we'll see you next time.